I'm gonna rank my top 10 favorite things at Taco Bell from greatest to least. Woo! Julia got me the taco hat because she likes me to wear things that are themed to the thing that I'm eating. Do you like it? It's okay. It's, uh, it's hot, it's itchy, and it looks more like a pinata. Do we, do we just move all this stuff off? Just flip the table? I would never disrespect Taco Bell like that. Um. Starting with number one, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. 280 calories. If you go to Taco Bell and you don't get Baja Blast, you're missing out. Mm. Number one, freaking awesome. I don't know, I just like the weird artificial taste of it. All right, we're gonna get liquids out of the way. Baja Blast Frozen, 160 calories. This makes zero sense. How are you less calories than the soda? Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I like it. It's just more like liquid sugar. Boom, you're out. Graveyard, get out of here. You ruined Baja Blast by putting it in the freezer. Even Monkey doesn't like it. To the graveyard! Womp, womp, womp. Blue Raspberry Freeze. Does this make my top 10? Absolutely. Who doesn't like Blue Raspberry Freeze frozen crap? This is better. This reminds me. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is, that's some, that's gnarly. I felt like I just drank a Sour Patch Kid. Try that. Why do you always want me to try bad stuff? <laughs> oh, why is it sour? I know. Graveyard. Actually, I don't mind that. If you like sour stuff, it ain't that bad. So you want that to go where? It will still go in the graveyard, but it's not as low in the graveyard as the Baja Blast one. Chips and nacho cheese sauce, $1.89, 220 calories. I know this might seem a little bit surprising, but this is in fact my favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu. Something about Taco Bell's nacho chips, they just do it better. Their cheese, I can taste the jalapeno in it, creamy. It never solidifies. Number one, mm. those freezers just messed up my guts. I gotta stop eating them. Absolutely number one. What do we got? I love when it comes in foil. That's how you know it's premium. Did you know that when it's foil? Ooh, it's grilled. I love when it's grilled. Is this the queso lupa? Ooh. So we got rice and beans in it and cheese. Sour cream and more cheese. Guys, believe it or not, this is the quesarito, uh, $3.99. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, comp I'm so disappointed with this. I think they made it better back in the day, but I think it's a rip off. $3.99, 640 calories. There's no texture. I am getting just mush. Sorry, you are going in the graveyard. I don't need this in my life. But you're going above the freezes. Woo! Nacho Supreme. Nachos Bel Grande. $4.79. 730 calories. Holy mo fungo. That's a lot of calories. But look at this thing is loaded. It comes standard with seasoned beef, nacho cheese, sour cream, beans, tomatoes. And look at all the options that you can add on. My only issue is that once you pile all this stuff on it, the chips get soggy. So you got to eat this right away. Comment below, do you eat these with a fork? Are you one of those weird people? I can't say no to this. Mm, mm -hmm. You're definitely not in the graveyard. You're going above the Baja Blast because I love nachos. Another foil. My guess is this is gonna be the beefy, uh, beefy crunch thing. Ooh, I see a nacho fry poking out. This is the steak white hot ranch fries burrito. What? A mouthful. This thing is sloppy. <laughs> look at that. Does it look like the picture online? Absolutely not. Compare shot. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in deep. Let's see if it makes the list. Holy hell. Absolutely incredible. Dude, biggest surprise of the entire video. <laughs> wow. Taco Bell. It's spicy. It's creamy. It's got texture. I got seasoned from the fries, the steak. Taco Bell, your steak does not make me feel weird. It's not cartilagey and chewy. It's very soft and pleasant. Because I'm just so surprised by this, and I'm gonna get this now. You're going number one. Good job, Taco Bell. Wow. Woo! I already know what this is. It's definitely my favorite. I'm getting Lupa vibes. Chalupa. Yo's right. This is the Chalupa. Let's be honest. Chalupa gives me heartburn every time I eat it. Remember when they had the cheese stuck in the actual quesalupa and we found a way to do it? Okay. You gotta make my top 10. You're not gonna go in the graveyard. That's just mean. But you're definitely not number one. Chalupa Supreme, $3.89, 360 calories. Surprise is that low in calorie considering it's got so much crap in it. We'll just put you here. I'll be nice about it. Ooh, I know what this is. This used to be on the dollar menu. Chicken Chipotle Melt, $1.69, 190 calories. Comes with chicken, cheese, and chipotle sauce. They definitely give you like a generous amount of chicken there. This is definitely in my top 10. 
Little hack though, there's actually an option at the very bottom for you to check grilled and they'll grill this for you. You're going down, you're going down. Boom, you're cheap and you got premium meat. Woo, Taco Bell, you got a big menu, man. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh. Taco Bell digests a little bit too quickly in my opinion. Crunchy taco, $1.69, 170 calories. You see the running thing here? I need a crunch. Mm. Like this is so good, I don't even need to squirt on a packet. As a kid, I would get the grande combo. Five soft, five crunchy, and eat them all. I will never get sick of you, is what I'm trying to say. You are what I have for taco dinner with my mom growing up. You'll never screw that up. Ooh, dude, I already know this is gonna be my favorite. Yeah, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the soft taco. Soft taco, $1.69, 180 calories. 10 more calories than the crunchy. That ladle of beef. Yeah. Everything gets overcomplicated. This is all you need. Comment below, if you worked for Taco Bell back in like the 90s and 2000s, did they always fold the soft taco like that? This does require sauce in my opinion. Sauce. And then you take the bite right off of that. Mm. I mean, you're a staple right below the crunchy. What? These will never leave the menu, so I'm never gonna set myself up for disappointment. You are dependable. Soft taco, you are number two. I am sweating underneath this. Oh, this is a test of endurance. This is definitely my favorite. <laughs> Nacho fries, $1.79, 320 calories. You are a great deal, and you come with a giant tub of cheese. I'm sold on that. And these look more vibrant than I'm used to. So they're really coating them hard. But I can't get, I can't get emotionally involved with this because I don't know if you're leaving me again. You know, it's like a bad relationship. It's just on and off, on and off. Sometimes I stay up late wondering if the natural fries are coming back. <laughs> You're going here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go to bed after this. Oh, oh man, this thing's huge. The cheesy, beefy crunch burrito. No, I have no idea what it is, but it's gonna be a, a combination of those words. The beefy five layer burrito. It's beefy five layer, because it's got five layers of beef, cheese, beans, nacho cheese, and sour cream. I'll be honest with you, the, like, the burritos, I only like the grilled stuffed burrito, and they got rid of that a long time ago. That thing packed everything I love. This, however, this is probably just gonna taste like mush in my mouth. No. The meat already tastes pasty, but let's add beans that are pasty, sour cream that's pasty. I can put this on my toothbrush. It's this Taco Bell toothpaste, but with like a, a little bit of paprika. This is graveyard. You are of the same consistency as it coming out the other end. I do not want to eat you. So, have you ever had that one before? No, and I will never have it again. Oh, that's sad. Dude, dude, the amount of beef I tasted in that was less than the crunchy taco. You're definitely getting ripped off. Let's check this out. Oh, okay, yeah, so here I got the gimmicky thing. This is the Doritos Locos Taco, which I'm, I think costs more than the crunchy. $2.29? You gotta be kidding me. You're paying an extra 60 cents just to have your crunchy taco orange? Definitely not worth it. You don't even taste like a Dorito. You don't have the dusting that a Dorito has. I think you're gonna go in the graveyard. Actually, it's nothing different than the crunchy. Nothing. Get the crunchy, save yourself 60 cents, blindfold your ass, you won't know the difference. You're going so far, I'm burying this deep in the graveyard. You a gimmick. Ooh, I, I get Dorito notes. I taste Dorito. No, I taste Dorito. So now you wanna keep it? No, I hate Doritos. I don't even like Doritos. <laughs> You're in the graveyard. And my stomach just got like, more upset. <laughs> yeah, we got my favorite thing at Taco Bell. Yeah, these definitely look like pork grinds. Cinnamon twist, $1.29, 170 calories. Did you hear that, guys? These things cost $1.29. They're basically giving these away. No. I mean, I get it. There are people out there that love cinnamon twists. I do think that it's a nice switch up. My palate needed a change of flavor. But no, I'll never get these. The only way I'll get these is if someone by accident gives them to me in the bag. But you're going in the graveyard. You're not on my list. Ooh, my favorite. Ooh, and they changed the bag. You used to be transparent. What are you hiding? 
chicken quesadilla, it's kind of expensive, $4.59, 510 calories. And I think what I love about it is again, the simplicity. On the app, you can actually add a bunch of stuff to it. I think it's fine just the way it is. Oh my God. Mm. I'm gonna have to move everything down. This is actually my favorite. I didn't think this was gonna happen, but I keep discovering new things that are my favorite. In the case of Dia, I forgot about you. You are definitely number one. And you gotta be back in that transparent bag. You shouldn't be hiding nothing from me. You are definitely number one. How much more stuff do I got a lot over there? Oh no. Dude, this one's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> This is the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. They actually have like a different type of sauce in there. I don't know if you can see it. They add melted uh, cheese blend. The Cheesy Gordita Crunch is $4.19, 500 calories. I have to take a big old bite out of this. And then I have to go lay down. You have only three more items. Okay. Mm, it's pretty good. I can see why people will like this. That ranch is incredible. It's another good sauce. You gotta be on my list, even though I feel like it's a lot of dough. So where do I put you, man? You go above the chalupa. Boom. Oh, is this 10? Bye bye. Sorry Chalupa, you made it to the graveyard. But you're high up on the graveyard list, so that's not bad. Oh no. Cinnamon Delights. Uh, I find it interesting that they sell it in a two pack. $1.59, 160 calories. So that means that each one of these is 80 calories. I, I just put this in my mouth and eat the whole thing. I have to run a mile to burn that off. Wow, these are like stuffed with cream. I don't even see a piping seam on there. Like, how did they do this? I mean, it's pretty freaking good. We actually made these. Bam! I got a stomachache. I'm not a sweets guy, so you don't make my top 10. You go in the graveyard, but respectfully. You are barely dead, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Munchie, eat some Taco Bell. That way we can both feel like crap together. Thank you, sick. Is she really gonna join me? Cheesy Fiesta Potatoes. $1.89, 240 calories. You left me during quarantine. Another breakup, and they are incredible. Cheesy Fiesta Potatoes definitely makes my top 10, which means, uh-oh, something else is going in the graveyard. I'd actually have to say these are better than the nacho fries. Mm -hmm. Oh, my stomach, but they're good. No, nah, this is gone, screw you. You're going above the nachos bel grande. That's how much I like you. Some sort of pain right now. Well, at least munchies. Seemingly entertained. It's the final item. Da, 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 da. The Crunch Wrap Supreme. I don't like this thing at all. It's on the specialties because it's expensive and a ripoff. The Crunch Wrap Supreme comes in at $4.59, 530 calories. I gotta tell you, this thing weighs a lot. So I think value wise, not too bad. But my big issue with it is you're the same thing as a double decker taco. I get the ingenuity behind it. I love the hexagonal shape. It's so much food. Oh, and if you don't eat it quick enough, the crunch is gone, guys. I'm thinking the crunch is gone right now. Yeehaw. I think it's kind of genius. When you eat any of this, you're basically Justin bieber in it. Because no matter what side you hit, you're going to get toppings. Whereas if you eat one end of the burrito, you're just going to get dough. I like it, actually. The crunch wrap's going at the bottom and makes my top 10 because it's just a hair better than the double decker thing. Crunch wrap supreme because of the ingenuity, because of creativity, feasibility, value. You did a good job. Oh, be like a fart counter on this video. And there you have it guys, this is my list. Quesadilla, number one. Then the crunchy, above the soft. This new steak thing, which was freaking awesome. Nachos and cheese, chipotle melt, fiesta potatoes, nachos bel grande, the nacho fries, and last but not least, the Crunch Up Supreme made it. So what do you think about my list? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. And as always, we'll see you next time on another healthy junk food. Woo! We're gonna end <clears throat> we're gonna end this video with Julia giving everything a little bit of a kitty nibble. <laughs> no. Nope. Nacho fries? Mm -hmm. Winning! Oh, I don't I'm not winning.